Hi, everyone. I'm Christina Blagina. I'm a Salesforce consultant with Milo Massimo. We are a Salesforce CPQ partner. In this video series, we are discussing about creating and customizing quotes. Today, I want to show you how to gain full control of the visibility of the cover page on your quotes, because sometimes it's relevant to show it and sometimes it's not. This can be achieved with the help of conditional print fields. Our clients uh, ask for this specific fun functionality quite often. Uh, so let me show you how to set it up. So it's super easy to implement in just three steps. So the first step would be to create a custom checkbox on the quote uh, object. Uh, the second step is updating the conditional print field on the template uh, section object. And step number three is updating the cover page section to only appear if the checkbox that controls cover page visibility is checked. So uh, let's proceed with step number one, that is creating a custom checkbox field on the quote object. First of all, let's go to the object manager in um, setup. Okay, object manager, and let's find the quote object. Okay, in the fields and relationship section, click new and create a checkbox field. Okay. like this, with the following details. So for the field uh, label, enter something relevant. For example, include cover page. Um, I'm going to leave it checked for the default uh, value. You can uh, leave it checked or unchecked as you wish, depending on your necessities. Okay, now click next. Next and save and don't forget to copy the API name of the field because we'll need it for the next step. In step number two, we have to update the conditional print field uh, on the template section object to include the API name of the newly created checkbox field. So while still uh, in setup uh, in object manager, let's go and find the template section object. Let's go to its uh, fields and relationships section and find the conditional print field. Here it is. Okay, so let's pull down uh, to the value section and click new and uh, let's enter the API name we just copied in this text box and click save. Okay, uh, now uh, step number three, where we go and update the cover page section only to appear if the checkbox that controls the cover page visibility is checked. So let's go to the quote template, the related tab, and uh, next to the cover page section, click Edit. And let's find the conditional print field. Here it is. Let's select the option that we have just included. That is uh, include cover page and click Save. OK, uh, now we can uh, verify whether our quote template generates the document with or without the cover page by unchecking and uh, consequently checking the include cover page checkbox and by previewing the document. So let's see how it behaves. Uh, let's go to a quote, open one. Okay, uh, here is the include cover page checkbox. Notice that it is unchecked, although uh, the default value I selected was checked. Uh, this is because the default field value is only executed once during record creation. Uh, that's why on existing records like this one, you will have to manually update the checkbox to show the cover page. 
Uh, so uh, let's check it first without the cover page. Okay, again, preview. And here is our quote without the cover page. Now let's go back and check this checkbox. Mark it true. Save. Review document again. Preview. And here is our cover page. Now, this is how you can control the visibility of the cover page using the quote checkbox field. When unchecked, the cover page will not be included in the output document. Uh, remember that basically every single section um, can be conditional, whether it's the quote terms, the signature block, uh, the cover page, or any other section you can think of. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.